Well, in the immediate aftermath of the election, uh, about 54% of businesses said government wasn't paying enough attention to their needs as it started off the Brexit negotiations. Uh, only about 24% said that they were happy with the level of attention business was getting. And that's certainly the sentiment we get from around the country, Ian, because firms are telling us they really want the economy, they want business to be put first, and they don't always feel that's the case. And why do you think they feel that way? Well, I think during the election campaign, there was a sense that business in the economy didn't feature at all. We uh, had conversations about how it was sort of absent and conspicuous by its absence. Um, but now that the election's over and the business of government is starting to settle down, we're starting to see more engagement. It's starting to get more positive. There's starting to be more interaction on the details and the practical issues that businesses really care about. That's got to be sustained, it's got to continue, and it's got to grow. Because, of course, there are a huge number of complexities we have to iron out. But what would putting business needs first look like? What are the kind of bellwethers that you'd be watching for signs of progress? Well, for chamber member businesses around the country, really it's answers to practical questions. Will my goods be stopped in customs? Do the standards I apply now change after we leave the EU? What about the regulations? Who can I hire? How long can they stay in my business? These are sort of salt of the earth practical questions that I get from small businesses, medium sized businesses, and indeed big multinationals alike. And every business, regardless of sector, is focusing in on this stuff. And that's why we've prioritized it as well. In fairness, though, isn't, that's not necessarily the government's fault because there are two sides in the negotiation and it very much looks as if it's the European Commission that's calling the shots in terms of what is discussed and when. Well, we are very supportive of the UK government in wanting to discuss the future relationship and the future trading relationship between the EU and the UK as early as possible in the process. We're not happy about the fact that that's been delayed for the withdrawal talks to start first. We'd like to see that conversation start now because it lets businesses begin to plan. It lets them put together investment strategies. And I think, crucially, it gives them the confidence that both sides are keen on reaching a reasonable deal. So we'd like to see those trade talks start as soon as possible. Aren't there some positives, though, from all this? I mean, clearly, business has benefited from the fall in the pound since the referendum, albeit the pound has rallied recently. And we are seeing, for example, a pickup in business investment. Is the picture as bleak as you're suggesting? Well, we see the economy as relatively flat in terms of growth over the course of the next year. We're at about 1.5% for this year, 1.3% growth for the year to come. Uh, pretty anemic by anyone's standards. Yes, there are some bright spots in that. Some of our exporters are doing great business at the moment, particularly those whose supply chain is entirely sourced from within the UK. They're having a great time of it at the moment. But then there are others who, of course, import first or who are in multinational supply chains, and they say that sterling can cut both ways for them. So it's a mixed picture, very definitely. I think if you want to change that, if you want to go from 1.3% growth, 1.5% growth to something better, you have to go beyond Brexit and focus on some of the domestic environment here in the UK as well. Uh, our politicians could spend all their time talking about Brexit, but if you can't get around on the roads, you don't have a mobile phone signal, you can't get the people you need, uh, you're not going to be doing as much business as you otherwise would, and those practical things need to be on the table. After the election, there was a lot of concern about political instability. Are your members still seeing that and feeling that? Well, I think what our businesses say is they want a workable government getting down to the business of governing as fast as possible. And I think that they've been encouraged by what they've seen over the past few weeks that the likelihood is that that's going to be the case. I think for them what they say is a lot of what we need doesn't need legislation. A lot of our priorities, whether they be around uh, roads, for example, uh, mobile phones, you name it, uh, businesses say government can help us with some of these issues without legislation. So the parliamentary gridlock isn't as big of a problem for some of the real world business problems as it is, say, for Brexit.